guys! Welcome again to my YouTube channel, May Fine Art. And today's episode is the continuation of my oil pastel art tutorial. This is mother and child using this panda pastels. In my previous video, guys, I was able to sketch. I sketched a, um, this the same mother and son. And my reference is a classical photo that I really love. And I just do some modification like with the dress, with the hairstyle. So guys, if you like it, please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment to my YouTube channel. And check out also my other YouTube art tutorial that I upload. So in this art video tutorial guys I'm also wanna share all about pastels and pastel is one of the art medium that I use and I found I find it very easy to use and um, you just need to know some techniques how to blend it so that's oil pastel so guys so I want to share to you that pastels are they are available in several types there are hard soft oil pan pastels and pastel pencils each with their own unique characteristics this article or this blog that i'm i will give you an overview of the pastel so that you know what to consider when making a purchase so guys if you want to skip the introduction and see which brands i recommend then i hope that you will have more um, you can bear more and the things that i'll be talking about so the brief overview of pastels like I love making art with pastels because they produce brilliant colors and you can just dive right in without needing paint brushes, solvent, solvents or palettes. All you really need to get started are some pastel sticks, a sheet of paper, and your fingers, your hands, right? So it's kinda easy. No other medium allows you to apply rich color to the support as quickly as you can with pastels, right? So if you can observe, comparing to my other video tutorials, I use brushes. This is so easy. With the pastels, you can just directly color it to the paper, to your sketch. So it's very handy. So guys, pastels are made by mixing dry pigment with a gum binder and some filler to form a thick paste which is fashioned into sticks and allowed to dry and these ingredients will differ based on pastel type and quality and you know there are also cheaper and or harder pastels that will typically contain more binder and filler in the form of chalk or plaster. So guys, Panda Pastel, I'm using this one. This is not a very expensive one, so you can always check this online or in your local shop. And cheaper and or harder pastels will typically, yes, contain more binder. Likewise, the artist quality pastels tend to contain as much pigment as possible and very little filler, which is why they cost more and produce intense colors that most other media can't match. So the expensive the pastels, the more it gives you an intense color. So, despite their simplicity, guys, pastels are very versatile. As you'll see, 
There are five main types of pastels that are capable of a variety of techniques and effects. The soft and oil pastels have a buttery or waxy texture that is well suited to painterly effects. And when you cover the entire surface of the support with pastels, it's called a pastel painting. And you can also get harder pastels that are suited to drawing, sketching, and precise detail work. When parts of the support show though, it's typically referred to as a pastel drawing. So in my um, video tutorial now, I'm kind of making a pastel drawing. So guys, this versatility means that you can use pastel for all kinds of subjects and genres. My photorealistic painting, I'm also trying to paint like stuffed animals like my previous video of my dog above and all of those yes endeavor to make it that's why my that's why I'm portraying this using pastel because it's really easy and I can achieve the desired effect so one of my favorite applications for pastel is sidewalk chalk drawings I attend a sidewalk art festival here in our local area and I'm always inspired and amazed by the creativity and ingenuity of pavement artists so guys for now let's look at the quality colors and safety and pastel types so the quality you can buy pastels in two main grades there are artist quality and students quality so for the artist quality pastels this contain the best pigment available and a higher ratio of pigment to binder mm. so one of it is one brand is the Schminke this is a German brand pastel finds the wish cons cons farben so that cons contains a farben this means that the artist colors are stronger and more intense and they also have high permanence ratings which means that they won't fade over time and the other one is the students quality pastels these are much cheaper but usually contain cheaper pigments So the soft pastels by and for the most popular type of pastel and the most traditional will be the soft pastel and these soft pastels are made from the pigment chalk or perhaps clay and the binder typically gum arabic same binder found in watercolors and however guys Unlike watercolors, the addition of chalk into the blend for soft pastels will make them crumble when used. While this makes blending between colors extraordinarily easy with your fingers, it does allow for dust to pick or to kick up while you are using them. We also have pan pastels. A newer type of pastel that was introduced over the recent years is the with the pan pastel with each color molded into a pan much like a watercolor or a makeup set 
This type of pastel must be used with brushes or even specialized tools. Pan pastels can be perfect for not only for the artists coming from a traditional painting background, but also for those who might want to use them only on occasion or if you want to work only on small scale pieces. So guys, we also have these hard pastels much like a stick or of compressed charcoal this type of pastel is great for outlines and detailed work sharing the same core ingredients as the soft pastel pigment chalk gum arabic this form of the pastel just has a higher ratio of binder to help it get a much stiffer body since this don't crumble like soft pastels guys some artists like to take this when doing work outside we also have this pastel pencils in the same vein as hard pastels you will find pastel pencils with a single stick of pastel encased in wood and it's the ultimate tool for very fine detail work. These pastel pencils, like hard pastels, are perfect for portability. So we also have the oil pastels, a completely different pastels from all the others we covered so far is the oil pastel. Instead of relying on a pigment, chalk and gum arabic to form the stick, oil pastels use the following ingredients, the pigment, wax and oil. So when you're working with pastels guys, now let's talk about how we can work, how can we understand this usage of this medium better. Depending on the type of pastel that you are interested in trying out, there are a few key things to know when working with pastels. First is the paper. Like watercolor paints, um, it's very important to know the specific paper that you will use. And pastels need a certain type of paper in order to really showcase their strengths. Pastel paper will have the right amount of tooth for the pastel to latch on it while also giving you enough give in order to blend the colors to desire. Well, it might be tempting to use um, watercolor paper or drawing paper when using pastels. Go with the true pastel paper at least for the very first time. This way, you can see how pastels are intended to work on their preferred surface. And second, blending. With non-oil pastels, all the blending is done directly on the surface. There is no separate palette or mixing tray that you use in order to dial in the color of choice. So. This can be a good and bad thing. Good because it's not another supply you have to own and also the reason why many artists love this medium. The less is better, right? But also bad with direct application of the media to the surface and no blending tray. Should you make a poor color selection, you simply have to leave with it. And pastels can be blended out like paint. So exact so just expect a certain level of permanence when using them. Now of course you can try to work around those mistakes, just don't expect the results to be perfect. And that's completely okay. Now when using oil pastels, as we alluded to above, they cannot really be blended that well especially when compared to the other types of pastels. Next up, fixative. So we also need this. If you, 
if you ever draw with this uh, drawings using a charcoal chances are that you are familiar with fixatives well many artists may use hairspray as an alternative to a formal art fixative this product is key in helping your ch chalky pastels to stay put so we need to to buy fixative guys if you really want your pastel not to be you know the the texture or the dusty particles will sometimes be you know um they're worn out so we need to have a fixative in addition to keeping everything in place on the paper surface fixatives can also be used to build up a layer or two in your artwork so if you want to generate a bit of tooth again for another layer of pastel just simply give it a spray with a fixative of your choice let it dry and start working again so we have the question here right, that I um, just checked. What about the archival qualities of pastel? So one thing that is really unique about pastels is the exposure of pigment in the finished piece. So unlike paint where the pigment is mixed with a binder, the pigment in pastel is fairly raw. And it's a huge reason why pastels look so vibrant in the first place. Given the exposure, pastels must be taken special care of when on display. This includes proper mounting and UV barrier. So with pastels, I believe that it should be framed, it should be put in a glass so that um, it will be more protected so there's also questions like are pastels dangerous yeah let's see on the whole pastels aren't particularly dangerous so however unlike other mediums you might be familiar with pastels particularly soft ones are going to kick up dust while you are working therefore it's important that when you work with pastels you either wear a respirator same thing that commercial painters wear or work in a well ventilated room should the weather be nice some artists may like to sit outside while using pastels and simply place their pad either on their lap or a sturdy art easel and if you do plan on sitting at an art desk while working with pastels, we would recommend putting anything away that is in the proximity of the surface so you don't cause any sort of staining. And besides, we should also take consideration that if you have little kids like me at home, that they will not eat the pastels or should be properly stored where children cannot reach, reach them. So guys, these are um, the important information about pastel art and I would also like to give some overview on transporting pastel pieces. So while a good fixative can help to transport a piece that has been made with soft pastels, if you are not quite done blending or perhaps don't have the time to wait for a fixative to fully dry, at the end of a great art class, anyone, we recommend that artists check out glassine. So, glassine is a special type of paper that is used for protecting and preserving pastel works. In fact, some pads of pastel paper will actually have glassine between each one of the sheets for easy portability, like the Canson Me Dentist Pastel paper pad so it's a perfect all-in-one solution for field or classroom work so 
is that everything there is to know about pastels so guys pastels are a complex medium to capture their true essence in just one article wouldn't be enough or if it is a blog so I recommend guys that for any questions you have for pastel you can always drop in the description um, comment area there are pros and cons of using pastels like there are many reasons to work with pastels because they are gratifying lots of uh, ways with pastels you can achieve a uh, wonderfully luscious velvety texture the deep rich colors are easy to blend and when used well they can have a splendid luminosity oh that's a very nice word another advantage is that you don't need a lot of tools to work with pastels as you would with paints and if you make a purchase of pastels there are different price range but in general comparing to paint um, oil paints they are kind of cheaper so you can always check some artworks and compare prices and the other cons for working with pastels are mainly related to the fact that the pastel particles are never fixed or set in place and the biggest concern is the inhalation of pastel dust if you rub the pastels onto the surface inevitably tiny pastel dust particles will float into the air therefore you must use pastels with proper ventilation you might even want to wear a face mask guys mm, face mask or use an air purifier Inhaled pastels particles can cause serious health problems. Because pastels are not permanently fixed to the surface of the paper, they must be handled extremely carefully. Pastels art can be accidentally smudged all too easily. In addition, they can be quite messy on your fingers, hands, clothes, and work area. Pastel art cannot be properly fixed with a fixative spray without dulling and darkening the color. So it is advised to use the fixative sparingly, if at all. Most fixatives are toxic, so they must be used with proper ventilation in order to ensure their longevity. Pastels must be framed securely under the glass, as what I have said, right? So those are the important tips I can share to you about um, oil pastel or pastels, using pastels. And these are all important points to consider when deciding whether or not to work in pastels. While the end result can be stunningly beautiful, it does take awareness and care to both safely create and safely store a pastel work of art. So guys, I am really happy to share to you my another work of art, this mother and uh, son, um, inspired by a classical painting. And this is for sale. So for those of you who are interested, just check out my website. And um, I would greatly appreciate if you will subscribe to my channel and if you have some question you can always drop in for comments so once again thank you so much for watching this youtube video and see you next time bye